Welcome back, Mr. Holmes. Thank you. And Sherlock comes back to a world he expects to be exactly the same and discovers that nothing will be the same because John is about to get married. Stevens, though, when he read the books, he always wondered, what was the wedding like? The wedding just sort of happens. It's announced that they're married, but they're best friends. What was Sherlock's role in that wedding? We play a sort of parlour game of what would Sherlock be like in mm. dot, dot, dot. And I remember as a kid just thinking, well, Sherlock Holmes must have been the best man. There was no other option because Dr. Watson had exactly one friend. And, and thinking, I wish we'd seen it. Uh, just the bride and groom, please. Sherlock. Oh, sorry. And what would Sherlock Holmes' best man speech be like? Ladies and gentlemen, recharge your glasses and be upstanding. A tread wreck. I wonder if he was brilliant. Well, he's a genius. He's an accomplished genius. He's a suave, accomplished genius. I know how to dress well. He'd be very, very good at it, but he'd still be Sherlock Holmes. He treated it as a problem. Yes. How can I do the world's best, best man speech? It was a wonderful bit of theatre for me to get my teeth into because it was basically a whole week's worth of filming 30 odd pages of dialogue and with an audience of both regulars who I adore and know very well and new cast members being incredibly supportive and lovely and obviously being part of it. I mean, listening is a huge skill as an actor and to be able to turn it on when you've listened to something 30 times in a day is, is, is quite remarkable. And then peppered amongst that are these wonderful classic stories. We've tackled some strange cases. The Hollow Client... Poison giant. Attention! I love that episode a lot. It was just, it was very coherent, very solidified, and it was sort of a thing in its own.